What's up, y'all? Feet here. I've decided I'm gonna scrap the phone. Woohoo! And the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> so, gotta get the ultra cool 30 minute talk time battery. Now it's a weapon. <laughs> Got a couple of little torque screws here in the bottom. And if you guys wonder what tools I use, this is a set of cobalt. Torx bits. A little screw it sure is in there. Maybe it's out. Screw number two. Oh, there we go. What's well, in there? What? Well, there we go. Now let's see how much of a pain in the butt it's going to be to get open. Hmm. Conundrum time. the dog that don't want to be walked <laughs> almost got it It's not like anybody's going to use this anymore. Manufactured under one or more of the Motorola patents. That has a lot of numbers. Okay, here we go. Let's see. The guts of the brick. Hmm. Pretty cool. Any nerdy collectors out there that want something stupid like this? There you go. Make me an offer. And it'll be yours. You can play with it in the tub. <laughs> Nothing impressive about the front of the board. Or the front board. Oh, there's two. There we go. Nothing really impressive about the back of it either. There's some... IDE pins here that are pleated. Got a nice tantalum capacitor there. Not a whole lot of stuff on these things. There's some little ruthenium resistors and a few monolithic ceramic capacitors on that board, but not too spectacular. This is the antenna here. Couple of gold plated contacts here, not much that I see in here at all. It's mostly tantalum capacitors. I don't know if you can see inside these cages, but it's tantalum capacitors and a couple of flat packs. But mostly tantalum capacitors. So there you go. 
Not really a whole lot of stuff inside one of these that I can see. But that's the guts of a brick. So yeah.